Hi everybody, it's me, Moonlight Mason. How are you? Well, here I am in my bedroom going to do some eyeshadow, a makeup tutorial for you with my Obsessed Pinky Rose palette, as many of you have requested. And also, we are going to do the Ace Beauté Floral Vintage. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. And I don't know the look that we're going to do. We'll discover it together. But if you are new to this channel, come on in. Come on in. I'm Moonlight Mason, and you need to leave a comment down below. Say hello. So I can say, hey, how you doing? Come on in. Welcome you to the channel. And if you happen to be a returning subscriber, you know how much I love, love, love it you. This is video number seven of our makeup giveaway contest. In this video, you're going to see me create this look. Okay, so first of all, you guys, I want you to know that the brows don't, you know, the brows are kind of weird, or maybe they're not. I don't know if they came out okay or not. This one seems to me like it's a little lifted, but at any rate, I used like these stencils. They come in this. Um, it's by Ardell Brow Perfection Stencils. You know, you get it at the drugstore. And I used, I've had them for a long time. I don't know if you could see it, but yeah, there you go. Like I used this one and then you find the one you're gonna use and you hold it. It's not that easy for me because well, first of all, I mean, look, like this one looks like it came up higher. So you have to, I mean, after you get the first one placed, obviously when you do the second one, you have to, um, you know, kind of gauge and make sure that they're both going to be like even, right? So those are the brows. I remember back in the day, we didn't have like sponges and brushes. We had like those round puffs and uh, I used to put my liquid foundation on with my hands and my fingers and I had the most flawless application. Well, that's been such a long time since I've done that. I don't know what that would be like today, but do you remember like maybe, I don't know, like maybe your mom or, or you yourself, did you ever apply foundation with just your hands? Let me know. And Rare Beauty 310W is the shade that I use for the foundation on my skin along with Shape Tape by Tarte 27H for um, highlighter and then I used this powder which works really good. I really like this powder by Fenty Beauty. Uh, it is a butter pro filter powder and so that's the powder that I really have been liking quite a bit. We've got our Ace Beauté Floral Vintage Palette and I think I'm going to start with, so Spray Rose is this one right there. That is Spray Rose. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap 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 just like that right and then I'm just going to just right, and this is a pretty large brush, which is really good just to set like a, you know, just kind of like a base, you know, and we're just gonna go right in the middle here, do a little more tap, 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 and just go right in here and just kind of set this right there, like that. And, wow, that looks really, this is a good color. It's a good, you know, neutral, neutral shade um, spray rose. It's a neutral shade. And uh, I'm just going to place it right there. Very light, kind of a light touch. So after doing this, I am going to go right in with my baby finger. When you're applying your makeup, I mean, do you ever just go in with your little finger? And we are going to go, let's see, we're gonna go do right here 
And how about we go in with, let's try fresh right here. Let's see what fresh, let's see fresh. Let's see what that's going to be like. Okay, let's go for it. We're going to go with this right here. Oh, 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 it's so beautiful. Oh, the reason I like the first application with my finger, because my finger will really lay it down. See, sometimes you just press. We will go with a brush pretty soon, but right now, just to lay it down, just like that, I like my finger. So we're picking up some with the other finger, and we're gonna go right in here. Just like that, with your baby finger. And you just, you know, sometimes you just hold down. You don't need to, you know, move it too much, and then just press. Press, press, press with your baby finger. Press. You can drag a little bit. This is by Luxie. This is a Luxie brush that we're gonna use and we're gonna go right into that same shade, Fresh, by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is Fresh by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Look how beautiful this came out. <gasps> Oh wow, it's the first time I'm using it right here. And it is stunning. Look at that, look at that, it's stunning. I just like tap it like that. Ooh, oh, ooh, it is so pretty. Now, let me show you what I do, okay? Now see, it's kind of a mess, it's all over the place and that's okay, because then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in with this MAC uh 217 <laughs> mac 217 and now we're going to go back into uh, this palette and see if i could find begonia is doing great man i like begonia begonia eyeshadow <gasps> oh my gosh look how beautiful and sh the blending though it's so smooth there are so many shadows so many eyeshadow palettes that are so so good that, you know, just people don't talk about as much. They, you know, they tend to focus on, you know, what's popular, who the, the well-known people who's selling, who come out with new products. But those who are not well-known, wow. And you know what, it may even, it may still even be the exact same eyeshadow, just a different label. That's how it works, you guys. Same eyeshadow as, you know, this could be, um, I think that tends to happen more with drugstore because, uh, you know, really good brands have their own manufacturing and things like that. They're not like just buying product and slapping their name on it. I'm going to switch brushes. Okay. Cause this, this, this is really saturated and it looks absolutely beautiful. It does, but we're, we need to switch uh, to a clean brush. And what I'm looking for, I have so many brushes, you guys. This is what I'm looking at. Plus, I have two more boxes. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for, uh, looking through. You know, sometimes how I view um, eyeshadow palettes, you know, like I've got this one that I haven't used yet. Oh, my God. This one is such a nice one. I mean, I haven't done a tutorial yet with this one. There are so many shadows that I absolutely love. That after a while you get to thinking, you know what? Is this just toys? Are these just toys? They really are toys if you're not like a makeup artist. How many eyeshadow palettes do we need? This is like our ha our hobby. This is like, you know, like playtime. Unless, of course, you have a job and you're a makeup artist. Hmm. Would you like to have been a makeup artist to the celebrities? Hmm. I think I would have. Another Luxie brush. And I like her fluffiness. And so we're gonna work with her. And we're here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in with a clean brush and watch. Just smooth it out. And smooth her out. Okay. All right. Now, 
a little bit of that top eyeshadow about right here no biggie we're gonna fix that too okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to her over here and just kind of see just fix her a little bit just you know just go like this and see if we can just blend her out blend those edges out just a little bit I, I still want to see a di a different color right in through here and I think I have it marigold let's try marigold she's right here okay and I just want to show you what I want to do I just want to put like just a little right here there right there see right there right there that's it just right here like that it's um it's i just it just says 202 but you know look at the tip right so we're going to go back into um our ace butate palette and i'm going to actually go let me see what happens with um calendula which is right here here's calendula and we're going to just take a little bit of that and just see oh i like it look look see the the, the tip of the brush how it's just going right there on the tip and that's where you where you want it right there just leave it right there see what I did okay so you just want calendula and then just on the tip right here right there like the tip right there there we go now we're gonna get a little bit more of calendula but we're gonna really put her on the brush like this and we're gonna go on the lower lid I love it. I love it. Uh-huh. Just like that. And you know what? I don't go all the way to the end. I was, I used to go all the way to the end. And I guess I could. Let me just go. Because I've been trying to, down here, trying to work with eyeshadows right here where you see this. Uh, me working right here with different colors and to be honest it's not really working out so for my eyes we're gonna go all the way around this time we're going all the way around look and then here I can go and make a little V if I want to okay Geller yeah I think the Laura Geller's the new one eyeliner I kind of mess, it mess up sometimes when it gets to over here, but I don't worry about it. See? Eyeliner. I don't think I can talk and do this at the same time, you guys. See, when it comes to this right here on this side, it gets kind of tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You know, today, oh dear, why did I do that? Hold on. Today, I'm reading another chapter. I'm recording me reading another chapter in Trisha Paytas' book, which I absolutely am enjoying doing. I really enjoy, enjoy, I'm just like really happy right now with all the videos that I'm making for my YouTube channel. I'm just like so happy. Ooh. Okay, you guys, now let's do our new mascara. Now, in order for me to do my new mascara, let me wipe my hands. I've got a thing here to wipe my hands. No, we're not done with my makeup, but I have to say, I really do like it. I do like my makeup the way it came out, you guys. Okay, this is by Iconic London. 
You guys, I really like the way my look came out. I didn't know it was gonna come out this way. Wow, it looks good to me. It looks good. Okay, so we've got a brand new eyeliner with this wand. Remember this wand? Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really nice. It's really nice. I don't know if you could see, but it is grabbing my lashes right away. Right away. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I got to I got to wait. I know. Oh. Oh, I felt like I'm going to sneeze. Okay. I love the eyeliner. I mean, the um mascara, you guys. I love the eyeliner too, but this mascara is really I mean, I feel it lifting my lashes. You can feel it like it's well, with my lashes, it's really working good. <laughs> oh, I love this mascara. Wow, for the first time using it. Yeah, I'm going to throw away, because I'm already done using uh, this one, was um, Big Ego by Tarte. This is just a block, of, uh, just, a, just a gloppy mess. This is a gloppy mess, the Big Ego by Tarte. But it does feel like I have a little bit in there. But for sure, we're getting rid of this one, which is the Man Eater by Tarte. Another gloopy mess. I, not, I don't like this Man Eater by Tarte mascara. Just a gloopy mess. So, now we have this one, which is like really different. There, so I just like, oh my God, I love this mascara. This has got to be my best mascara ever. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but wow. My eyelashes. It feels, okay, this mascara feels wet, but it's thick wet. So every stroke on my lashes doesn't seem to be going to waste. You know what I mean? Like every stroke, my eyelashes seem to be growing and getting darker. Wow, should I do my bottom ones? A lot of times people say, do your bottom ones. Well, the thing with my bottom lashes is they're so long, you guys. I, look at my um, eyelashes with this. This is amazing. Now I need to fix something. So we're gonna get a Q-tip. This is how you fix something. Now you go back, go back to the um, eyeshadow that you used. God, can I remember? <laughs> Which one was it? It was this one. It was, was it Calendula underneath? Oh my God. Very carefully remove the smudge that's under there. Okay. And on the top here, I remember I did, because we have another little boo-boo we got to fix. That This boo-boo right here, see it right there, that little boo-boo right there? That's because sometimes my eyes tear. <sighs> Especially when I walk the dog, sometimes my eyes, there's so many tears that come out. And I never had this problem until I had to start using um, eye drops. When I started having to use eye drops, that's when my eyes started tearing and I had to I have to use eye drops because I have both glaucoma and cataracts and that's another story. So I'm constantly going to the ophthalmologist. She just changed my medicine um, because my right eye, it's getting worse with the pressure and we got to get the pressure down. So I'm going, I'm actually, I do this a lot. What I'm doing right now and oh, what I want to say though, okay, wait, wait. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually going over some of my um, my um, eyeshadows that I already have on. I'm just going over them just to give them more of a, of a, there, like that. You know, more of a oomph. Just going over it like that. But I'm, look you guys, I put my makeup on in the morning and that's it. That's it. I don't go back during the day and look. I don't carry makeup with me. I don't do any of those things. I put it on in the morning and you get what you get. I'm not gonna 
my life isn't one of like that, okay? I just put it on and that's it. I don't need to freshen up or, you know, I don't have that kind of life where I'm going anywhere where my makeup has to look like, you know, really good. I don't. Okay, so I'm really happy with the eye look that the way this eye look came out, but I want to try with you guys um, something that I haven't really delved into before with makeup, and that is uh, Cabs Cosmetics. Uh, it's a um, contour, right? Contour, which I don't usually do, but I thought maybe we would try some together. So, <laughs> let's try some together. I don't know where I'm going to start. Okay, I think I'll start with this True Beauty brush, which I really, really like. Um, this is clean, by the way. I think it's, oh yeah, I washed it yesterday. This is clean. So is this, yeah, this is, this is clean, by the way. That's just the color of the brush. I'm going to start with um, trying to figure out because I'm scared. I've never done that really contoured my face. So I'm still learning, but let's go into suntan, I think, which is this one up here. Please help me, you guys. If you guys know about contouring, Watch what I'm doing and give me hints. Let me know. Okay, so I've got some of this on here. And all I'm going to do is just follow, like, you know, what I see, what I've seen. You know, so I'm just going to put it under, right here, under my cheekbones, right? Right under my cheekbones. I don't know, you guys, wait. Under my cheekbones. Most of the time what happens when I contour though, is I don't really see anything. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit, but let's just keep trying. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I mean, I do see some color and it's pretty. The color is pretty. Okay. You just put a little color right here, right? Okay. And then there, there. Okay, it's kind of confusing between this and blush, but I'll do blush too. But before I go into blush, I'm going to want to go into this one right here, Vanilla Bean. I really, really like Vanilla Bean. Let me show you. I, I've tried Vanilla Bean has a highlighter, and I really like it. Look at that. I like it, but can, yeah, you can see it. Right there has a highlighter, I like it. <laughs> what do you think, you guys? You can see it too, huh? Ooh, I'm contouring. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, and then let's just put a little bit of this down this nose here. Now we're gonna go into, <laughs> you guys. Uh, now we're going to go into some blush, okay? So we're going to use a highlighter brush for our blush. Um, who is this by? I'm not sure who this is by, but it's a highlighter brush. And for blush, oh, I need Manny Inouye's blush palette. I've wanted that for a long time. And every time I think about ordering it, I forget and I end up ordering other things. So anyways... I'm going into Ace Beauté Blushed in Paradise, okay? I've had this for quite a while. And I really like this, this color. It's more of a bright color that I really like. But I think today we're going to do something a little different. And why don't we go into, should we go into, I don't know. Let's just go into this one right here, okay? Let's go into this one for a blush. All righty. Okay. I think the other thing too is um, for filming, there are certain filters that um, you know YouTubers use for filming color, like facial makeup, so you can see the colors and stuff. I'm not quite sure what filter that is, but I do like this. But I don't see too much of a difference. You guys, let me know if you see too much. Uh, if you see, um, you know, a difference in the contour of my face.
from what I did. I think some of you guys are going to say to go down here, but mm, I don't know, you guys, about down here. I think, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know what you think. And I'm just actually going to take some of this and just go like this. Just very lightly. I don't think I want to do a big contour on my nose. Just like that. Okay, and then let me Okay. My eyes came out so nice for you guys. I just really, really feel like I want to put some bright lipstick on. Even though I have celebrity skin. And this is a really good look, like a really natural look. But I want to do something bright. And um, just, uh, I don't know. I really, really like this look. So, why don't we go ahead and do something. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I keep wanting to put this crazy color on. But it's too crazy for me. This is a mark by Marc Jacobs. I should have given this away as a as a um, giveaway. I uh, was thinking, what do you think is wrong with going to sleep with your makeup on? What is so bad about that? I want to know what you think is so bad about sleeping with your makeup on. And that, as an esthetician, is one of the things that I've never done. But no, not even as an esthetician. Even when I was like you know, started to wear makeup and everything like at 18 or I think maybe a little, I don't remember, a little older or something. I always removed my makeup at night and I know that a lot of people don't. So why is that so bad? <laughs> I know you know why it's so bad. Let's try Baby Spice by Jeffree Star. Baby Spice by Jeffree Star over celebrity skin. Hmm. But, do I have any teeth? Mm -hmm. She's not there. She's not done there. She's not done. She needs, the lips need some gloss. <laughs> so we are actually going to go into one of my favorites that's almost gone or probably gone, the gloss. this makeup tutorial I know I did I'm really surprised totally surprised at this look I really really like the way my makeup came out and um, yeah that was a good idea that you guys suggested it I the two palettes that I used in this tutorial were Ace Beauté right floral vintage yes floral vintage I used her oh, I love her so much and Obsessed Pinky Rose. Oh my gosh. The only ones I don't really like in the palette, seriously, are these yellows. The yellows, there's something wrong with the yellows, but everything else is good. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really did. I um, am surprised. I'm surprised, but I do like it a lot. Let me know down below if you enjoyed it, okay? And I will see you in my next video. Bye.